This is my brand new desk setup for 2021. I've made a lot of changes to my setup over time, but I think that I finally nailed a setup that works perfectly for my daily needs. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the setup and show you all of the items that I used to create it. If you saw my previous desk setup video, I was using the Smart Desk 2 by Autonomous, which I really enjoyed, but the desktop had become way too small for me. So I switched it out with a 74 inch IKEA countertop. The process was actually much more simple than I was expecting. I basically just had to take it apart and then copy and paste the legs from one desktop to the next. All it took was a couple of screws, some measuring, and a little bit of help from my dog. Even though this countertop is laminate, I was very impressed by the look and durability of it. And I think the lighter color of that wood pairs really well with all of the dark accents that I have on the desk. Having the extra 21 inches of desk space has been very helpful with my daily work. But to be completely honest, the real reason that I switched this out is because my assistant editor wanted more space to stand on my keyboard. Now I've made a lot of changes to this setup, but the biggest and most exciting piece that I've added to this is my new custom built PC. I'm gonna save most of the details of this PC for a future video, but here's a list of all of the main parts that I ended up going with. As a professional filmmaker and editor, the scale of my projects had finally outgrown the speed of my MacBook Pro, and it was finally time for me to build a workstation that was going to be much more suited for my needs. The monitors that I'm using are two LG 27 inch 4K monitors, and these are sitting on two separate articulating arm desk mounts that I got from Amazon. I've been using these monitors for about three years now and they have never let me down. They're incredibly sharp, color accurate, and they look amazing whether you're watching a video on YouTube, editing videos, or just playing video games. Now I'm not much of a gamer, but I figured that now that I have this PC, I may as well take advantage of the speed from my RTX 3070 graphics card. Now one of the most asked questions I get when people see my setup is why I use two separate monitors versus one ultra wide monitor. As a professional editor, I handle projects at a large scale and I'm usually handling this footage from the editing process all the way down to the coloring. So having that dedicated monitor to see the image at its highest resolution is very necessary for me to make sure that I'm making all of the correct adjustments, coloring it properly, and seeing what it's gonna look like in the final result. But just to give you an idea of what it would look like if I was working on an ultra wide monitor, I would have much more space in the timeline and some areas for the work side of it, but I'd lose that dedicated monitor to look at my image, and for me, that's much more important. Now I could throw a dedicated monitor above an ultra wide, but honestly I love the symmetry and look of having two monitors side by side. Next up on the desk are my keyboard and mouse. When switching to PC, I knew that I was probably going to have to get a mechanical keyboard, which honestly I'm not a big fan of. But I found this Logitech G413 keyboard on sale at Best Buy, and honestly I was very impressed by the build quality of it and just the overall feel. And also my assistant editor's getting work done in half the time and she's just in a better mood overall around the office. For my mouse, I'm using a Logitech MX Master 3. Now this is a very popular mouse and I'm sure you already know all the details of it. It's incredibly comfortable and probably one of my favorite mouses that I've owned. The mouse and keyboard are sitting on top of an oversized leather desk mat from Harbor London. Moving on to audio, I'm using a Samsung soundbar. Yep, you heard that right, I'm using a TV soundbar. The soundbar is paired with a Bluetooth subwoofer, and honestly the quality of this thing is incredible. I'm not doing any insane audio editing or music production, so I don't need speakers that are flat. I just want something that's going to sound great and that I enjoy listening to. If I were to give myself a grade on my cable management, it would probably be a B+. I could definitely improve it and make it a little cleaner, but honestly from most angles that you look at this desk from, you're only going to see that single cable coming down into the wall. Next to the desk, I have this lamp from Target, paired with a LifeX LED Wi-Fi bulb. Now let's talk about tech. Earlier this year, I picked up the 2020 iPad Pro, and I absolutely love this thing. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've owned in a long time. I mainly use it for watching YouTube videos, scrolling through emails, and using it for tasks that don't require too much power. But when I do need power aside from my PC, I still have my 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. I still use this pretty frequently for mobile edits, secondary renders, shuttling footage around to my hard drives, and even though it's not as fast as my PC, it is still a workhorse and can handle most of the projects that I give it. It's just always nice to have a second machine on hand for whenever you need it. 
Let's not forget the final and most important piece to my desk, the desk chair. This is the Kin Chair from Autonomous, and when I received it earlier this year, honestly I wasn't a big fan of it until I started using it more frequently. The skeleton design of this chair provides really nice lumbar support, and after a couple months of using this all the time, I really noticed a difference on my back when working at my desk for hours at a time. But that's going to be it for this desk setup tour. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found inspiration to spice up your own desk setup. If you're interested in any of the products that I talked about in this video, they will all be listed in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.